Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how we can send email notification from Oracle Apex. We'll be using the Apex Mail API to do this. Uh, this is nothing but a package which is built on the top of UTL SMTP package. This Apex Mail package has three procedure. One is the send, the other is the add attachment and the third is the push queue. So as the name suggests, send is used to send simple email notifications without attachments. If you want to have attachments, you have to use add attachment procedure. And when there are unsend emails, these are stored in the Apex mail queue table. Okay. So push queue is used to send those unsend emails. Okay. So uh, in this video today, we'll be seeing a simple email uh, notification being sent from Oracle Apex. And in our upcoming videos, we'll be seeing the attachment part also. So before starting, I just want you to keep few things in mind while using Apex mail. So uh, one restriction is not a no single line uh, makes seed more than 1000 characters. So if you want to have more than 1000 characters, use uh, line feed characters and distinguish them into different 1000 blocks. And it supports both plain text and the HTML email content. Uh, but uh, it actually depends upon the uh, setting and the capabilities of the uh, receipts email recipients email uh, uh, which determines what will be displayed and it is suggestible that don't send emails uh, sorry don't send emails with images if you want to attach emails uh, images make sure that is accessible on the web okay then only your recipient will be able to see that so now coming to our today's video, it will be a sim it will be it is going to be a simple video when in will be taking few inputs from the user and sending that as email notification. So to begin, let's start now come to the items because we need some items to take user input. Let me drag and drop it here in the body. Name it as two. Let me duplicate this one, make it as subject. And uh, before proceeding further, let me show you the signature of the procedure which we are going to use. So our package is Apex mail. We are using the send procedure in which if you see it has parameters as p2, p from, p body, p body html, p subject, pcc, bcc, p reply to. So these all are pretty much self explanatory. Uh, uh, so I'll leave it on you. If there is any doubt, uh, please write in the comment section I'll, and I'll explain that. Okay. So now let's come back to our development. Now we have added the fields for two email address subject. Now let us quickly add a text area for our body. So let us it as um, what should I give the name? I should give it as message. Now let us quickly add a button so that uh, we'll be sending email notification on the click of this button. Let me keep it as sent. Execute this and let us see how our page looks. So meanwhile it loads, I'll uh, request every one of you to please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and please, please do like the video. Okay. It says two, two. So here come to subject, make the label as subject. Okay. So run it now. See, I think, yeah, so it will come as two subject and message. Okay. Make the send as hot so that it appears in the blue color. Now coming, come here and let's go to the process and now here let us add a process. So in this process we have to execute code, Not that code is nothing but a PL SQL code. So for this let's start, let's just give pick in, give end before this let us just commit it. Okay now, now here we'll call our API, just copy it from here. So let us quickly remove the things which we don't want uh, in this 
tutorial we don't want and we want a simple email so let us just remove the body HTML also okay so for this p2 we want the values to come from uh, user input so let us just specify the page item from where this value should come so in for from for from will hard code it as no reply at the rate oracle.com now come to your body so for body we want the value to come from uh, this our uh, page item uh, that is nothing but p8 message sorry and our subject is nothing but it is to be come from again the page item okay now let us validate this okay so it is validated click on ok so now here in the success case when an email is sent we want a notify we should we want to be notified as email sent and in case of email email sending failed okay so now uh, now come in the in this only you just need to come to the server side condition and you have to specify when you press the button send which is nothing but the name of a button which, which we specified on a page uh, this particular process should execute okay so now let us run this page and see now here let me give our email address subject is test email from apex let us give it as notification and just now let's click on send so our email is sent we are specified uh, we are notified with the message email sent which we have specified now let us come to our email and let us see whether we received it or not refresh it yeah so we got the mail test email from apex and the message as notification hope you would have liked the video if so please subscribe our channel and stay tuned for our upcoming videos thank you